Hi everyone, my name is Samuel. I'm the German wine buyer here at Lathwaite, and today I'm going to be tasting and comparing three uh, Pinot Noirs from Germany. The first wine we're going to try is from the Pfalz uh, region, and then we're going to go north to its neighbour, Rheinhessen, uh, where these two wines come from. So both these wine regions that we're looking at today sit on the west bank of the river Rhine. Um, up in the north we've got Rheinhessen, um, and then uh, further south, uh, but neighbouring, is where Pfalz uh, sits. And then if you continue to follow the River Rhine uh, south, that will take you into France and into Alsace. They're both uh, similar growing climates for grapes, so you'll find similar grape varieties to what you find in Alsace and similar styles of wine as well. Let's get pouring. So I'll start by tasting our entry-level uh, German Pinot Noir from Von Raben in Pfalz. This is a 2019 and straight away you can see how much more youthful uh, it is in the glass than these two 2016s. Much lighter in colour, uh, much more vibrancy, a little bit more purple in there. And the, uh, the nose is particularly vibrant as well. Lots of um, red cherry, loads of raspberry notes, really, really mouth-watering. Mm. And those red berry fruits continue on the palate. Really, really nice bracing acidity. Uh, keeps it really fresh. Minimal um, oak influence. Just gives it that little bit of structure and the finish again leaves you with those mouth-watering um, almost cranberry notes that just make you want to take another sip delicious on its own but it will be superb with your roast chicken or perhaps even a creamy pasta dish yeah really nice really good entry level pinot noir there so Germany is the third largest producer in the world of uh, Pinot Noir behind France and the USA. Um, you'll notice on this next wine that we're going to try from Von Gaul, it doesn't actually say Pinot Noir on the label. It says Spätburgunder, and that's um, what they call uh, Pinot Noir in Germany. Um, so if you ever see that written on the bottle, you're actually looking at a, a bottle of Pinot Noir. So next we're going to taste uh, this wine from Von Buhl. They've been making wine for over 150 years. They're uh, most famous for their um, really superb Rieslings, but they also make a small amount of excellent Pinot Noir. Uh, this is a 2016, so it's got a bit more age than the 2019 Von Raven that we just tried. Much um, darker, more of a garnet colour in the glass. Less vibrant. Really deep, ripe strawberry nose. You can smell a slight bit of oak influence there. Still that classic underlying note of cherry, and that strawberry still carries on all the way through. Much more tannic structure than the uh, Von Raven, but the um, the tannins themselves are incredibly fine and silky and then they're balanced by this really nice refreshing acidity which is uh, typical of Pinot Noir um, from this part of the world. A touch of earthiness as well and a slight amount of uh, smoke from the uh, oak as well. Really nice long finish. I think it would pair well with roasted duck or even because of that slight smokiness, perhaps a barbecue as well. Really delicious. So this is our final wine that we're tasting today. Um, this is from Carl May. It's owned by brothers Peter and Fritz who are seventh generation winemakers. Um, it's the most premium bottle that we've got here today. 
but by no means as expensive as a premium burgundy. So if you're into your Pinot Noir, uh, there's fantastic value for money to be found uh, here in Germany. Uh, the grapes uh, that go into this bottle are grown on the south-facing slopes um, on limestone soil uh, in their Geersberg vineyard, which is one of the top sites of uh, the village of Bestheim. Um, they even grow Cabernet Sauvignon in this vineyard, so you know that uh, it gets pretty warm on those south-facing slopes. It's also 2016, so we should be able to draw some similarities between this one and the last wine that we tried from uh, Von Gaulle. It's almost identical in colour in the glass. Much deeper in colour than the Von Raven that we started with. Still a garnet red. Lots of black cherry notes on the nose. Almost descending into uh, black currant. It's that ripe, and there's a there's a spice, almost a cloviness, clove spice as well. Mm. And on the palate, that ripeness really comes through. Definitely black currant character in there. Lots of really dark ripe black cherry. Again, the tannins take a step up from the last wine that we tried with that extra warm. It's got extra extraction from the skins. And there's still those earthy notes there as well, which keep it balanced with the fruit. And again, the acidity is perfectly in sync with that tannin. Really silky. That clove character and almost cinnamon as well really comes through on the finish. I think again that would go really well with duck or perhaps something even gamier um, like a roast pheasant or even stew. Uh, really delicious. Yeah, excellent value for money. If you're into your Pinot Noir, I highly recommend all three of these. So there we have it. That's uh, three different uh, German Pinot Noirs or Spätburgunder from two different wine regions. Um, starting with our entry level all the way up to a more premium um, wine from Karl May. All the links to all of these wines, if you're interested in buying them, will be in the description of this video. And I hope it has inspired you to try some German Pinot Noir. Cheers!